Hey guys, this is Elaine and in this video I'm going to talk about diagnostic x-ray tube. It, it is a, an overview about this topic. There's a video that comes before this one. It's called X-rays definition types generated. It explains characteristic in Bramstrong X-rays production. If you have not watched it, the link is in this video description. So let's take a look at this picture here. We have at one end the cathode. In, at this side, at the other end, we have the anode. The cathode is negative and it has the filament. The filament, when heated, emits electrons, a phenomenon known as thermionic emission. In the anode, we have the target, which is usually made of tungsten for, because it has a, a high atomic number and a high melting point. The tube uh, consists of a glass envelope that we can see right here. Uh, that has been evacuated to high vacuum. That is, that is to avoid electrons interaction air before hitting the target. Uh, here we can see a protective housing uh, around the, the, the X-ray tube. The protective housing provides mechanical support and absorbs most of photons traveling directions other than the window. So here we can see the anode where the production of X-rays take place. Uh, the blue lines here represent um, the photons being produced. If anything that's not going through the window will be attenuated in the protective house, which is usually made by lead. The window here is where we allow the primary beam to go through. Uh, here we have the high voltage connectors. At the, one is at the cathode side, this one is at the anode side. When high voltage is applied between the cathode and the anode, it accelerates the electrons towards the anode. Keep in mind that if X-ray tube voltage is at 100 kVp or less, the efficiency of X-ray production is less than 1%. 99% of input energy is converted into heat. Therefore, tubes need to be designed to dissipate the heat. This has been achieved in some tubes by conduction of heat through a thick copper anode to the outside of the tube, where it is cooled by oil, water, or air, and the rotating anodes. So we have a cathode, which is negative. It has the filament uh, where electrons are emitted through thermionic emission. The anode is positive, has the target, attracts the electrons. It's made of tungsten, usually, because it has a high atomic number, high melting point. Efficient removal of heat from the targets, it is an important requirement for the anode design. Uh, tube voltage is in KVP, is the high voltage applied uh, between the cathode and the anode. We can see here high voltage being applied between the cathode and the anode. It accelerates the electrons towards the target, towards the anode. The tube current is the flow of electrons to the anode. X-ray production, uh, if tube voltage is less than 150 KVP, Approximately 20% is characteristic X-rays, 80% Bremsstrahlung X-rays. Above 150 kVp, Bremsstrahlung X-rays are predominant. Output increases proportionally with the tube current (EMA) and approximately with the square of the tube voltage. Uh, if it is proportional to MA, if we double MA we are going to double um, X-ray production. It is uh, approximately uh, proportional with the square of the tube voltage with KVP square. If we double KVP, we quadruple the X-ray production because we are dealing with KVP square here. Uh, KVP relates to the photon's maximum energy. 
uh, photon maximum energy is numerically equal to the peak voltage. And why is that? Because the tube voltage accelerates the electrons as such that the max electrons energy is related to the tube voltage. And uh, the max photons energy is related to the electrons energy. So at the end, we have that the max photons energy is related to the max tube voltage, to KVP. KVP controls X-ray beam penetration. The higher the peak voltage, the higher the X-ray's energy, the greater its penetration. I have additional videos that are related to this topic. You can see the, the list here. They can help you to understand the topic better. Uh, here are the sources I have used, and this is it, guys. Thanks for watching.